As the Zimbabwe prisons and the correctional service, we have been facing challenges in providing disinfectants for use. So we conducted our partner, that is ICRC. We wanted them to buy us disinfectants from the shops, but as experts, they came up with an idea of introducing the chlorine production. Where we are using just a simple salt from the shops and water, clear water from the tap. The process goes like this. We need 25 grams of salt. And then another 25 grams, so 50 grams. We also need water. This machine has to be completely immersed in water. So we are now trying to focus on such projects where the ZPS can, in the future, be in, in, independent enough to do things on their own. The idea being that we introduce the production of chlorine, we see whether this is sustainable enough, whether the prisons can manage the project, and in the future, if possible, replicate in other stations. There were, there were these guys from Red Cross, they come to us and they teach us how to produce this concentrate. And uh, this was good, they just teach us how to make it and how to distribute it and how and they, they give us papers for manuals for, for, for doing the, the concentration. Normally after we produce our concentrate, we distribute it like we give ourselves Every, each cell give it about uh, 700 minutes. Then he give uh, another one to our kitchen and to our tailors outside. Uh, to our outside tailors. Before we started using chlorine, there were times when inmates would complain quite a lot uh, because of uh, the odor which was coming out from the bathrooms and toilets. It was a very bad odor. But this time, these days. The order is sweet smelling. We've been producing chlorine for the past three months, but we're facing challenges with the, um, with electricity cuts. But we are so grateful to Red Cross because they introduced the solar, and now the the production of chlorine is smooth flowing. So as a pilot, we encourage that. He, through the officer in charge and those that are going to be trained, all the lessons that you are going to be learning, challenges, or whatever you're going to recommend in the use of this machine is put down and then we discuss together. We want to leave them with something that is much more sustainable because giving them cleaning agents, yes, we can give them, but they use today, tomorrow they don't have. But if they have equipment on site, then they can produce for themselves. It is much more sustainable than buying from shops.